This video was kindly sponsored by the Nick Morn Foundation. Biodiversity is an essential part of the solution to climate change. But what is it, and why is it so important? In this video, we want you to experience biodiversity and its importance in the way the world functions every day. And there is nowhere better to do that than in the incredible Eden Project. Welcome back to Going Green. In this video, we are at the Eden Project, a haven in southwest England that aims to build relationships between people and the natural world. 20 years ago, the Eden Project was a sterile clay pit. Today, it is a living landscape full of life. The project exhibits biodiversity from all around the world, from the local Cornish flowers to exotic plants found only in the far reaches of the earth. Biodiversity is the term used to define the variety of life on Earth. The greater the biodiversity, the more secure life on Earth is. Everything from the plants and animals that live here to the habitats and climates in which they live contribute to the biodiverse and rich planet we live on. Did you know there are about 8 million plant and animal species on Earth? But unfortunately, about 1 million of them face extinction. This isn't due to natural causes. Man-made pollution, greed, deforestation, overconsumption, poaching and invasive lifestyles are all contributing factors that have created a domino effect of soon to be irreversible changes. Human activity has altered 75% of the Earth's surface, squeezing plant and animal life into ever smaller corners of the Earth. Humanity must help stop the pace of wildlife extinctions, or else face extinction itself. Keeping biodiverse ecosystems intact is crucial for human health. We need it for food, medicine, and just to generally exist. Livestock takes up nearly 80% of global agricultural land, yet produces less than 20% of the world's supply of calories. This means that what we eat is more important than how much we eat in determining the amount of land required to produce our food. Although tens of thousands of plant species can be grown, almost 80% of food comes from just 12 crops. These crops include rice, wheat, soy, corn and palm oil. Palm oil is nowadays used in everything, from food products to cleaning detergents. This growing global demand means there's more pressure on farmers to clear native rainforests in an area, affecting the wildlife and the local people. Biodiversity is an essential part of the solution to climate change. Some ecosystems, like mangroves, not only house wildlife, but are also fantastic carbon sinks. This means that they store the carbon absorbed from the atmosphere. Nature alone can aid in reducing 30% of the carbon emissions needed to be gone by 2030 to prevent a climate catastrophe. Protecting biodiversity plays a crucial part in achieving these emissions reductions. Each of us has the ability to make a huge difference in our everyday lives. Even if it's just small changes, millions of people making small changes eventually creates big change. The best way to protect biodiversity is to start in your home and local community. Plant local flowers, fruit and vegetables. Inquire about your neighborhood or city's recycling and waste management programs if you're not sure. Stop buying single-use plastic where you can help it. Seek out environmentally friendly cleaning products to prevent toxic chemicals from entering local waterways. Protect all species, but especially the bees. Bees pollinate nearly 90% of plant species and they are essential to ensuring the consistent supply of more than 35% of the world's food. And finally, continue to educate yourself and those around you. If you're watching this video, you have access to the internet and the time to discover. Search for information about the issues facing our natural world and what you can do to help. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, head over to the Going Green channel or like and subscribe down below. We'll see you in the next one.